2023, we saw two early warning system alerts being issued, one for methamphetamine and one for synthetic cannabinoids. There were also unconfirmed reports of at least one fentanyl overdose in Barbados. So these substances are all drugs which have significant implications for our public health because they, have, they can pose significant public health threats. Now that said, when we consider our local discoveries with similar discoveries across the Caribbean and the proliferation of MPS on the international market, it is clear we need to know the current state of new psychoactive substances in Barbados and we need to know it urgently. This will be key to designing and implementing appropriate responses to address and combat the emergence of these substances. Some of the areas that we need to know about include the substances which are available and in use, how or where they are obtained, the populations most likely to use them, and the methods of use. Research will be key for us to gain this understanding. And as you would have heard alluded to earlier, there is currently a, plan, a, a project that's in the planning stages. Uh, it is being funded by the Inter-American Drug Abuse Control Commission, or CCAD, and it's going to focus on the trafficking, sale, distribution, and use of MPS and other emerging drugs in three countries. So Barbados was lucky to be selected to be a part of this. It's going to be us, Jamaica, and Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, it, it will also review the country's current response to MPS and provide suggestions for improving these responses, as well as approaches uh, to, to monitoring the substances going forward. And this study is slated to be conducted in the next couple of months. Now, this planned study is going to be using a qualitative approach with a heavy reliance on interviews. So we're going to be going to key informants, people who, who have inside knowledge, uh, be it uh, professionals, potential users. We're really going to look at this using a well-rounded approach. But I'm suggesting that we also buttress it with the conduct of what they call a wastewater analysis. So this particular type of study tests the wastewaters uh, of of a country to estimate uh, community use of certain drugs and it does this by testing the waters for drugs themselves as well as the metabolites of drugs okay now one common approach uh, to studies of this nature is to conduct them uh, at parties and festivals and so on because the likelihood for drug use is higher uh, in situations like these so that being said i'm recommending that the study be conducted during crop over we go to the FETs and uh, we test the, the wastewater from the chemical toilets, okay? And that way we can have an idea of what substances are being used here in Barbados. Now, in order to make this study a reality, we're going to need uh, the input and involvement of our Forensic Sciences Center. We're also going to need uh, the input and involvement of the Barbados National Standards Institution. So I'm also recommended that they, they do not just work with us to make the study happen in terms of the testing, but they also work with us to design it. So we, we look at it from all angles and we consider the important intricacies uh, where chemical analysis is concerned. 